You! I remember you. You're... You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? No, I had no idea anything like that would happen. The Well of Souls is bigger than one gnome's pet project. My employer pays for information about its progress. I just send the reports to make some money on the side. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. I don't, I don't have... OK. Here. It's all I've got. Plus what I got paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old Fate Weaver, eh? Fate Weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I suppose I could spare a little help, in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success. Whichever. You really don't know much, do you? A Fate Weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each Fate Weaver, since we all see the weave differently. You, you're the one. Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Hughes may have brought you back to life, but that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. 
It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes, other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. Don't worry, it's quick, it doesn't hurt, and there's no charge. And after what I've seen, I'm not letting you out of my sight until I have an answer. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... I am. But still, I've never seen someone whose fate was just missing. Not even when I was drunk as the King of Ballads. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say, can you? Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men, but that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. What could this all mean? in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure, and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day.
Interesting. You're not at all what I expected to find here. Oh, is that the name of this fate weaver? No, the Tuatha I was following killed him. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Knowing you, you're definitely involved. But something tells me I know you better than you knew yourself. Don't you remember me? I'm hurt. No time for introductions now. The Tuatha are still on the move. I'm certain that we'll see one another again. Soon. Be on your way. What happened here? Arden's dead. How did this happen? Why would they have come here? Why kill a harmless old fate weaver? They couldn't know that you were headed here. I mean, the stingy bastard owes me a week of drinks. Doesn't mean he deserved to be murdered. I was hoping to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. Maybe not directly, but something isn't right. His fate was changed. And you're the only person I've seen who can do that. I'm going to have to handle this myself, I guess. I was hoping I could avoid Delok. Go. I'll meet you there once I give Arden a proper funeral. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but we're going to have to go to Delok. Maybe something there can tell me why I can't see your fate. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left in your wake.
It's good you're here. I was beginning to think you were just something I saw in the bottle. Welcome to the ruins of Deloc. Because for some reason, you can change fate. In here, I can get a glimpse of the whole of the weave, and see where you should fit in. We'll see soon enough. Deep below us is the Theater of Fate, where the Immortals taught man, Alpha, and Gnome to read the destiny of the world. Come with me. Maybe I am crazy, but not about this. It's the ruins of the Theater of Fate. This is where the first Fate Weavers learned how to read the Weave. They left their wisdom behind in the Destiny Stone. I'm hoping that the stone will tell me who you are. In we go. Keep quiet. We aren't... Ever since this place was abandoned,
Stay close. I've seen this. This moment. I'm sorry, but this is as far as I can take you. Supposed to. Do you have any idea what you've done? What sort of power you're playing with? I know you don't have a written fate, but it's more than that. You're stealing the power of their fates. You're changing the fates of everyone around them. Because of you, there are deeds he won't do. Children of his that won't be born. Victims that won't die when they were supposed to. Yes, I'm aware, but there's still no telling what damage you could do if you aren't careful. You're much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theater of Fate right away.
We faith weavers never fully understood the power of this faith. Gods, I should have brought another bottle. surprise that Niskaru found its way to this place of power. Everything about these ruins is dedicated to this room, and at the center of it all is the Destiny Stone. With it, the Fae taught the Fate Weavers the answers to the deepest mysteries of fate. Put your hands on the stone, and maybe we can find answers to your own mysteries. Just put your hand on the Destiny Stone. It'll show me where you fit into the Tapestry of Fate. The Destiny Stone came apart at your touch, and all around you the tapestry of fate, unweaving itself. And there at the core was the Codex of Destiny, the wisdom that the Fae used to help the first Fate Weavers understand the nature of the Weave. Don't you see what this means? Yes, yes, it is. And from what I can tell, you're the one changing it. With every breath, you're changing how lives begin and end. The way the Codex of Destiny came to you out of the stone. That's got to mean something, too. But I'll be damned if I can read this thing. No. You can still die or fail. But fate doesn't enforce the weave on you. Your gift is freedom, to you and to those around you. And that means I owe you a... Wait! What's that? Purge the abomination! In the name of God's law! to think that these Tuatha don't like you. Now why do you think that might be? After all, someone who can change the fate of the world, who wouldn't want you? I'm not sure, but they're very well informed about your location. They came straight here from Diden Hill, but they're not nearly as interesting as you. Especially now that they're dead. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? Is that so? If your wanderings are going to change the fate of everyone you meet, then perhaps you should be a little more careful. Still, your wanderings led you to find the Codex of Destiny. And here we thought it was lost to this world. Good luck understanding it. That's fey knowledge. They don't even have a written language. The stone itself is embedded with what they know, unseeable to mortals. Why worry about the little fish, when deeper waters hold the more interesting secrets? There's more to this than you understand. I don't have the answers for you, but I know someone who might. When you're ready, meet me at the House of Ballads. I'm sure the Fae would love to meet you. Be on your way.
We can't trust her. Never met a Dark Far who'd give me a straight answer, even with a sword at their throat. Present company accepted, of course. But she wasn't wrong about that Codex. Just be careful doing anything she suggests. Meanwhile, we can't just ignore the Tawatha that are tracking you. We need to do something about them. Wise, but that doesn't mean she's our enemy, either. You need someone to look at that Codex. And only the Fae would understand it. And she was right about tracking those Tawatha. Meet me at Dighton Hill. And I think I could follow them back to wherever they've made camp. I've got some final rites to perform before I leave this place. Good luck. <laughs>